Hello, Edutainment Studios and Access Healthcare welcome you to Bladder Cancer Treatment Guide. This module is part three on a seven part series on bladder cancer. Bladder cancer is one of the most common cancers, affecting approximately 68,000 adults in the United States each year. Bladder cancer occurs in men more frequently than it does in women and usually affects older adults, though it can happen at any age. Although it's most common in the bladder, this same type of cancer can occur in other parts of the urinary tract drainage system. About 7 out of every 10 bladder cancers diagnosed start out at an early stage when bladder cancer is highly treatable. However, even early stage bladder cancer may recur in the bladder. For this reason, people with bladder cancer typically need follow-up tests for years after treatment to look for bladder cancer that recurs or advances to a higher stage. In this course, the objective is to help you know how bladder cancer is staged. If tests show that you have bladder cancer, your doctors will look at the grade and stage to decide the most effective treatment. The grade of your bladder cancer is based on how it looks under a microscope. If your cancer is low grade, well differentiated, it looks somewhat abnormal. If your cancer is high grade, poorly differentiated or undifferentiated, your bladder tissue looks much more abnormal. Your doctor will also look at how invasive your cancer is to determine the stage. Invasiveness tells how deeply the cancer has grown into your bladder wall. If your cancer is still in the layers, it is called non-invasive. If it is spread into the muscle layer, it is called invasive. In stage 0, there are abnormal cells on the inner layer of your bladder. Stage 0 is divided into 0A and 0IS, depending on the type of tumor. In stage 0A, tumors, called papillary carcinoma, look like little fingers or mushrooms growing toward the center of your bladder. In stage 0IS, also called carcinoma in situ, tumors on the inner layer of your bladder are flat. In stage 1, your cancer is spread past the first layer of the bladder wall to the second layer of tissue. In stage 2, your cancer has spread to the muscle layer of your bladder wall. In stage 3, your cancer has spread into all layers of your bladder wall and possibly to your reproductive organs. And in stage 4, your cancer has spread to your abdomen or pelvis, at least one lymph node, and or other parts of your body, such as your lungs, liver, or bones. Please feel free to investigate these sites and others for more information and remember to bring any concerns or questions in to discuss with your doctor. Thank you for joining us today for part 3 of this 7-part series on bladder cancer and come back for part 4.